Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. This is David for Elizabeth Craft Designs. Good evening. We, I see a lot of people coming in already. Good to see you all. I see Anya, Debbie, Patricia, Sylvia, Ans, uh, Anya. Uh, hello from Norway. Hello back to Norway. Margaret, Belinda, Jona. Oh, lots of people coming in already. Good to see you all. Good to see you all. Well, good evening. My name is David, just in case you didn't know. Oh, wait a minute. There's something in my screen that should not be there. There you go. Um, no front camera today because my camera broke down. Um, hi, Melanie. Hi, Ingrid. Hi, Jen. Um, funny story. We ordered a new one and it, uh, it arrived and it didn't work. So we ordered a new one again. Um, and that should come in tomorrow. So hopefully by the end of the week, I should have my front camera working again. But OK, we're doing it this way now. We're going to have some fun tonight. I think, I hope we're going to have, uh, I've got some plans. Now, uh, before I start, please like, comment and share um, to win the $50 gift certificate. I think Wednesday else will announce last week's winner because I did not see anything. Let me double check my phone. Um, did I get an email? No. Um, so, yep, no. Um, but uh, yeah, please like, share and comment. Um, well, that's the main thing. Uh, if this camera would have bro broken, I would have switched them around because this is the main part. My face is not <laughs> the main event. So, uh, hi, Sandra. Um, so, yeah, anyways, what are we going to do? I, I, it's Valentine's Day. And if you know me, I'm not into Valentine's Day, but I do like making Valentine's cards funny enough. So um, I'm going to be making a Valentine project tonight, not even a Valentine card. It's going to be, yeah, quite, quite something <laughs> for me, at least it is. Hi, Nancy and Karin, Sarah, good evening. Um, because I'm going to make, well, sort of a, yeah, it's not an envelope. It's not a box. It's an envelope box, something like that. Does that make sense? It'll make sense when I get started. I'm going to use this beautiful paper from the Bellrose Pink. I'm going to be using um, a lot of the ticket dies uh, or stamps um, and some of the dies. And I'm, I'm going to use a, a die from the Planner Essentials collection. Wait, I've got my dies here. Uh, I'm going to use this rose, this flower. Uh, let me see what's this. Sorry, I'm, my screen is not doing what I want. Um, I'm just going to make the comments big. <laughs> ah, Candace Tufo. Sorry, I saw something popping up from, uh, I think it's Anya. Um, congratulations, Candace Tufo. You are the winner of last week's gift certificate. Right, I'm going to use this uh, flower. Uh, I'm going to use the base page for the floral insert. That's going to be my card. So I'm going to use this as a card. Um, I'm going to use some of the Dutch stamps. I'm going to use these. So there's a lot, a lot going on. So let me put these to the side so we can get started because I've got some work cut out for me. So I've chosen um, a beautiful paper from the uh, paper pack, which is this one, and then the inside of the envelope will be this color. Hi, Marlene. Hi, Els. Um, so that's the plan. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to stamp because that needs to dry. Um, and that's going to be the cover of my card that's going to be on the inside of the envelope. Do I still make sense? Um, it's funny. I keep looking up to where the camera was, but you don't see me. It's OK. I've got a thick hat. So what I did, I've made a collage of all these different uh, stamps from the tickets, the new ones. Um, and I, I'm just going to stamp that onto my uh, card front. Now, I'm not going to use black. I'm going to use um, the first of Anne in Fallen Leaves. It's a dark brown. Um, this. What do you mean the sharing? I still get it right. Sorry, Inga, don't get it. But so I'm going to stamp using this um, 
dark brown. It's just a little bit less hard, um, yeah, than the black. So, oh yeah, it will all make sense, Femka. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm just not explaining it right. So I'm really inking this up really well because um, I want to make sure there's enough ink on there because there's quite some solid bits on here. Um, and I wanted to stamp, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I wanted to stamp right. So I've got my little stamp thingy here, my stamp mat. I'm going to put the card on there and then I'm going to stamp this onto my card. And this is fun, just making a collage out of these uh, ticket stamps. It's really fun. And I was just being lazy. I just thought, oh, I'll, I'll just prepare it on the block, on a big block, instead of stamping them separate. No idea whether this is going to pay off right, or yes or no. Um, but we will see. So I'm just giving that ink some time to sink in, giving some pressure all over the... Um, over the stamping block um, and get it off. Good enough. That's good enough. Look at that. Isn't that fun? So that needs to dry. Pigment ink is, is a wetter ink. So I just thought, okay, um, I'll, I'll get that out of the way. And also I'm progressed, progress, I can't say that word, procrastinating. Is that the correct? pronunciation. Um, I forgot something and that is at my other desk if I believe. Bear with me, I'll be right back. <laughs> Just running through my craft room now like a madman because I need my ruler and my ruler was on my desk where I design. So I'm back. Hello. <laughs> I'm just putting off the measuring because I'm not good at measuring at all. Anyways, um, I've got my ruler. I've got my craft knife here. So that's ready to go. I've got my cheat sheet here with all the measurements. So let me explain what I'm going to do. Oh, hi, Annette. Good to see you. Absolutely. That's what I was thinking else. This would be fantastic paper. Wait till I'm done with it. You're, I, I'm, I love it. Right, I've got my scoreboard here. Now, I'm really sorry for the people in the US. I'm going to do the measurements in centimeters because I, um, otherwise my head is going to be in way too much trouble. Uh, I've got a piece of paper here, which is 17 and a half centimeters by um, 25. And I'm already got my head in a pickle because um, I don't think I, th I don't think I've written everything down. Let me think. What did I do? This is my prototype. <laughs> so that is. I'm just gonna do it like that so that I. Oh yeah, now I remember what I did. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm going to score here at 17. So first you score at 17. Then what I did was make several score lines starting at, let me see, I think 8. Yes. Then, this should be like that. Yeah, okay. I'm getting there. So, score at 17 and score at 8. That's the idea. And then, um, I'm just going to make some more score lines here so that this folds over uh, nicely. <laughs> well, I don't like to think as well. So, But, yeah, it is going to be fun. Ah, uh, let me tell you that. Right, so that's that. Then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to score. Uh, I had the measurements written down here now. I just got myself confused. Um, I'm going to score 
at one centimeter. Hi, Annie. Mm -hmm. Up to that score line. So one centimeter there, and again, one centimeter there. And that's it. And I'm going to do the same on this side. So I'm going to go half a centimeter, centimeter in, not half, one centimeter in, and another one right. I have to turn it around because there we go. Okay, that is all the scoring done. Now it gets uh, serious because I'm going to get the knife out. What I'm going to do is on this score line, I'm going to trim these parts from here, from this corner to that score line there. And the same on this side. So I'm going to take my knife out and I'm going to trim right up to there. And the same on this side. Let's trim that bit there. See? These parts are loose now. Oh, that happens to me all the time, Femke. And Els knows that I did this on Sunday, and that's my brain. Uh, I did this, uh, prepared this on, on a Saturday even, and uh, then I forget how I did it. So, <laughs> right, next I'm going to trim off this bit up until that score line there. You see? And the same on the other side. Hi, Sandra. Good to see you. So, gonna do the same here. This is why I love having dies, taking all the measurements out, but I, I, we don't have a die like this, so, and I wanted to make this, so, but yeah. There we go. So, that is that. Now, that's all the measuring done. Next, what I'm going to do, this is going to be the inside, so I'm going to fold this to the inside, and the same on this side. Fold to the inside, and then fold this one like that, and this one like that. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and just going to make sure that that is reinforced. What are you going to post else? What did I miss? So, that is um, now folded flat. Then I'm going to fold this one up and reinforce that fold. You see where I'm going with this? So now you've got an envelope when I've glued this down like that. That's a bit open. So it's a mini box. Yeah, exactly, oh, yeah, that's what I'm making. Then, this part, I'm just going to fold, but not completely. So I'm just going to bend the score lines that I made, a tiny bit, like that, like that. And that's going to be like this. You see? So, then I'm going to Take my corner punch thingy and round the corners, if it works. Because why would it work, right? There we go. You just want these, the corners of the flap rounded. So that's that, all done. Um, then I want the middle of this, and I'm just going to Take a pencil and 
because the middle of 13 and a half is 6 and a bit, right? Slightly under 6 and a half, no, uh, somewhere, let me see, is this easier? Yeah, somewhere here, 6 and a bit. There, slightly higher, David. Are there more people with problems with the video? At my side, it's running fine. So, um, right, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my cropper dial and I'm going to make a hole where I just marked slightly higher, approximately there. Hopla. There's my hole. Then I need a hole reinforcer. So I'm going to take out my big box of hole reinforcers. Good to know, good to know. Now, I want a nice brass collar, I think. Yeah. There's enough black on there, so I want to... Right, I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to enforce that. There we go. You see that? Put that back where it belongs. Okay, now it's time to edge because I want all the edges to be edged. Hi, Shireen. Oh, oh, Femka, no troubles there today. That's good. So I want all these edges to be um, edged. <laughs> I want this to have a bit of an old vintagey look. So I'm using Freight Burlap for that. This paper is so beautiful. And when you do that with Freight Burlap, it just matches it perfectly. So I'm just going to etch all this. And here, just making sure that all the edges are done. There we go. Look, it's coming together. It's starting to turn like an envelope. Starting to look like an envelope, turning into an envelope. It's really hard to talk today, David. Right, back to this one. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to um, measure my... Um, where did my trimmer go? Nobody leave the building. Here it is. I'm going to measure this card, which is three and a half by... Well, five something. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to trim that to three and a quarter. So I'm first going to take a bit of this side. And then on that side, three like that, and then a tiny bit more from here, then trim the bottom off. I want 2023 20, on there in total, so and what was it? Really, David. Four and three quarters, so let's say four and a half-ish. 
that should be it. Perfect. Okay. So now we've got our own pet and paper, as Elle said. But I'm not done yet. What I'm going to do with this... Hey, Ans! Gefeliciteerd! Happy birthday! So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this. I'm going to come in from the outside towards the inside. That's why I let it dry, because I'm going to color this whole paper with frayed burlap. This is so much fun, I think. I think this looks fantastic. It really looks like old, old paper. Oh yeah, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, right? Don't forget about the Valentine's offer on the website. It's a nice offer there is on the Elizabeth Craft Designs. Right, so that is that. Hi Tineke, goedenavond. That is that. Look at that. That's already looking fantastic, but I'm not done. Where is my thingy? There is my thingy. Now, I'm gonna... Um, well, Tim says it doesn't matter, but... I'm gonna use one of the holes. I can't see a difference. <laughs> I'm gonna rough these sides up. I know Elle said... Uh, uh, there was a difference in in the knives, and if Elle says that, I believe her. There we go. Just roughing up that edge. Like so. Yeah, it looks like uh, pet and paper, but it's homemade. So, now it's perfectly imperfect, which is something that I like. And messy, but okay. That's for tomorrow when I vacuum. <laughs> right, that's that. Now I'm still not done. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. I can't remember. Is it important? No. I've got this. Um, it's from WOW. It's the embossing ink from WOW, but then it's called Mixed Media Embossing Brush. Um, and it is uh, very sticky, like the embossing ink. And it's also very messy if, you, if you're not careful. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edge, just putting on some embossing ink there, covering up that edge, and being quite messy. That's not, there's nothing wrong with that, because I want that ink to, yeah, to grab onto the embossing powder that I'm going to dump on there in a second. So that is going to go on there. I'm going to use my fingers as well. The benefit of the WOW embossing ink is that it stays sticky for a very long time. Um, and that so it gives you time to work with it. So bear with me while I go around. Oh, you can do so many fun things with this. That is... This is fun stuff. I will do a demo with it uh, soon. To make a really crunchy, vintagey background. Yeah, it's super cool stuff, Belinda, I agree. I will do a demo on my channel soon with that. With, uh, some different things, different techniques that you can do with it. So, nearly there. Bear with me, guys. So, 
I can see by the shine that it's nearly everywhere. No, actually, because this is a brush, you can be more precise. I've got the dauber as well, uh, but this works better in my opinion. So I've got WOW um, embossing powder designed by Seth after Mud Pie. This is an embossing brush thingy. So I'm just going to put this on there. Making sure it sticks there. And then I'm going to melt that. This is way more drippy. Um, it's really a brush like, it's like a uh, thick nail polish. So sorry for the noise. Hello, back to Texas, Karen. So, as you can see, I'm melting this. So, that's that, and I think that's enough, so I'm going to put this away, like so. Uh, where's my cap? Here it is. Um, I love this stuff from, uh, wow. Right, now, what I'm going to do... It is like Versamark, only by WOW. Um, and the benefit from WOW is that it stays sticky longer than Versamark. Um, so, for instance, when I was preparing for the retreat last year in the Netherlands, I used this, the, the WOW embossing pad, because it allowed me to stamp uh, like 20 images and then go back to them and emboss them later. Where with Versamark, you had to move quicker. So, when you're working in bulk, this one is more handy. What I'm doing now is I just want to get rid of that white edge that I created by scratching it. Um, so I'm just going around the edge now. No, no. You can't use it with foil. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, no, I'm not sure. We spoke about it. I was with the Marloes to Frankfurt to the fair. Um, the other day, week, last week actually, but I can't remember what the answer was. But we did speak about this stuff, but right. So that's the cover of my card. Nice and grungy, right? You can also use it to refill your uh, your ink pads. This is my Wow pad. It's looking dirty, but uh, and you can use that as well to re-ink it. But there's lots more you can do with it. It's just fun stuff. Right, I'm going back to my thingy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to put some tape right here. Just on that edge. Like so. And this one. Hi Kitty, goedenavond. And there. And then, oh, did you guys see these? Look at that. The new blue scissors and tweezers. I love them. It's the nice, it's the blue from the, the, the logo from Elizabeth Craft Designs. I love them. It's so nice. So, yeah, 
so happy with those. They should be on the website soon. I know they're available at your favorite local store. Okay, so then what I'm doing, I am just folding this down like so. And there's my envelope. I just love this. But we're not done. No, 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 we're not. Um, because what I've got here is a lot. And when I say a lot, I, it's a lot of tickets that I made um, with the new release. And I'm going to use that to decorate this. Uh, and I'm just going to see how I'm going to spread this out. They're fun. They're really fun. An Enver box. I like that. Um, that might help if I turn it around. And then if I do it like this. Yeah. I like that. And then I will flip this. Will I flip this over? No, because then I can't open it. So I will just trim this off. Um, but I do like that there. So let me get just a strip of tape. Oh yeah, Mariana, hope you feel better soon. Hey, Yoop. Good evening. And we'll stick that on to there. Now I've stamped this out onto um, design paper as well. The design paper that is actually in the back. So I'm going to take my little trimmer and just trim that off. There we go. Like, come on, don't stick to my scissors, like so. Take my little thingy and edge that bit as well. So this is stamped on paper, a uh, pattern paper as well. This is not stamped on pattern paper, but it is um, uh, done on soft finish cardstock then I used heat embossing powder and then I used the new color what is it lost shadow um, to create that background and etched it with my frayed burlap that's how I made these this is where I forgot I had black on my um, on my stamp I inked it up with red loved it <laughs> so that was a happy accident and this is the same way but then stamped with pink so um, I'm gonna see what I'm going to do. Uh, nope, that one can go there. And then that can go there. And then that one like that. Yeah, I think that's fun. So let's get the glue out. What's the problem with the sound? Oh, microphone is still on. So let me just measure this out. Oh, these are fantastic, these uh, tickets. I'm going to do that one there. Then I know where to place this one. I'm going to trim this up. Part. It's just playing this, right? Like so. And then I'm going to put this one on. I'm going to put that one there. 
So it's not really Valentine as in love and soft, uh, being soft about it, but it's the colors, the color scheme, reds and pinks. And, and now this one says, let's stick together, XOXO, and this is I love you in Dutch. Um, so that's gonna be um, on here somewhere. Um, I just want to put this one on there. That's the fun bit as well. You can just tear them apart, the tickets that is. There we go. That's one. So I'm just making a little collage thingy. Um, Hello from Australia. That's a long way. Well, for us it is. Like so. And then I want this one to be on here. Hmm. That one there. So, yeah. They're fun. They are just fun to play with. Exactly. Just put this one there. And then this one is going to go uh, below that. I'm just playing now, guys. But I think this is coming together nicely. Want that one there. This says love you too. No, that's too much. That's fine. Do I want that? No. No. Okay. I think this is it. So it's time to finish my card. I'll let this dry. Well, thank you, Leticia. Um, what were you thinking? Not what were you thinking, but I saw someone saying... Well, that's true, but there's still background. And it creates depth on your on your project, and that's what I like. Um, so yeah, it just creates a grungy vintage look. Um, right. So here's my little card, which is a page from the Passport TN. But I just love that um, because that fits in there perfectly. Now, I've already created my card panel, so that's going to go on there. Now my comments aren't scrolling anymore. There we go. Hi Joseph. No worries. There we go. That is on there. Ooh, one more. Do I want that then to go? No. No, David, enough is enough. Stop it. Do I want that there? No, 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 no. Leave it. And then what I've got is I've made these flowers um, from Anita's set. Uh, I just showed them, but for the people that came in late, I will get them out. I used this die set to create these flowers. And what I did, I was playing around the other day, experimenting. Um, and I was uh, uh, playing with watercolor paint from Elizabeth Grant Designs on my gel plate, which was fun, let me tell you that. And I made a bunch of backgrounds. This one is fun as well. Uh, and I just thought, hey, I'm going to use that to cut out my flowers. So that's what I did. So I made. Oh yeah, I've got the back as well. Thank you, Pemka. Uh, I made these beautiful flowers. So I'm going to put those on here. 
then I can actually use this as a sentiment? No. <laughs> um, because what I wanted to do as a sentiment is... Mm, I'm going to trim out this, oh, not trim out, cut out this piece from a scrap piece of paper that I have. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to quickly run that through my die cutting machine. And trim that out. Yeah, they really do on the card. My switch is starting to make weird noises, guys. I'm hoping it will not give up on me. Right, now I just have to figure out. And then I had a stamp set that I used this morning, which is gone now. How can that be? Um, but let me see. Is there anything here? Mm, yep, yeah, I will do this one. It says Lekkerding, which means as much as you're hot. <laughs> so I'm going to stamp that out using that same brown. Like so. Yeah, it really makes it pop. Um, I really like that effect. Ink that up well. Now, this is the first time I'm using this stamp, so what I always do is uh, take a scrap piece of paper and stamp it off. But it's already stamping beautiful. I never have issues with these stamps. Um, it's just a matter of inking them up really well. For some reason, I always do it like that. Well, you're hot. Yeah, that's that's what it is, right? Where are we time-wise? I don't have a clue. It's, oh, we have time. So, lekkerding. You're a hot piece. <laughs> and press down. Oh yeah, I love that grungy look. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, this needs to dry. Come on. I might as well get out my heat tool and do that. There we go. Because I want to edge this as well. Um, to bring it all together. This is too clean for me now. So what I'll do is just go around like this. So not just edging it, but bringing that color in a tiny bit more. And that, all of a sudden, you see, it matches that pink from there. So I'm just going to take my scissors. Yummy thing, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, I'm going to trim this off like that. And then I'm going to assemble this card thingy. Now I'm going to do that the other way around. Like so. So I'm going to start with this one. So the back is a mess, but hey, the front is nice. That's what it's all about, right? So that one's going to go there, then this one is going to go there, and then this one will go right here. And 
And this one will go over that. Mm. Oh, I'm going to cover the 2023, but never mind, because I like this. So I'm going to put it there. <laughs> Happy belated birthday, Andrea. Yeah, just say hotty. At least that's what it means, right? So I'm going to put that one. I'm going to cover up my 2023, which is not important. I did all that. Oops. It's sliding on the embossing powder. I did all that work making sure I got the 2023 on there. So that's that. This can go. But I love this card. Look at that. Nice little, cute little card. Um, and then let me see if I can look nice space to put these two. Good thinking, Femke. Thank you. Good thinking. Let's put that one there. And that one there. And then we've got this one as well. Mm. Let me trim this in half because I can. This piece to be like that. There we go. That's going to be on here. <laughs> well, your brain always works, Hemka. There we go. That's going to be at the bottom here. Slide it over. Yeah, I like that. Now, do I want something here? Is that going to go there? No, this is enough. Enough is enough. Right, so that's that part done. So, yes, I will, uh, Sylvia, I didn't forget. There we go. So that's the envelope part nearly done. It's just one thing that I need to do. And now, of course, I, I thought of something that I wanted to do, and then I came back to it, changed my mind again. So I'm, at the moment, you can't see me, but I'm diving into my stash of ribbons to see if I want a ribbon there. Well, um, I think I'm going to use this. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to put this through like so and then I'm going to tie a knot thank you Natalie doesn't always feel like that but and another one tie another knot so make a double knot I can't even tie a knot today David come on I am calm when technology works. It's simple as that. Is that enough? Yeah. So I'm just going to trim this at an angle. And then that's going to go around like so. I'm going to trim this again at an angle. And that will close it. Isn't that fun? Like so. I like this. So, open that up. And then take my card, and that fits in here. Now, this is the big. Um, Moment of truth, does it fit? If I don't do it wrong, yeah. It fits like 
a glove. Why doesn't it fit? It should, because I got the measurements right. There we go. Sorry, no room for chocolates. There's the finished project. So we've got a nice box sort of envelope thingy with a ribbon that closes this. And uh, in there we have a beautiful card. So that is it for today, guys. That was it. Um, exciting times ahead. Uh, there's something special happening, I think, this week, right, Else Wednesday, something like that. And um, then, hopefully, end of the month, I'm going to die slightly, a little bit, but uh, <laughs> it'll be fine. Uh, but that's going to be an exciting time as well. So that was it for today. Don't forget to like, share and comment. Um, uh, to be able to win the $50 gift certificate. And uh, yeah, these are uh, this is the end result for today. Thank you guys. Thank you very much for joining me today and having fun with me. Um, and I would love to see you soon again. Don't know when. Um, but if you can't be without me, uh, this Thursday I'm going to be live on my own channel, on my YouTube channel, working in the uh, journal, art journal. Um, I'm a guy, I can't do two things at the same time. I was looking for my mouse. Um, I'm going to be live on my own channel. And uh, so if you can't miss me, I'm there. And otherwise, see you next time at the Elizabeth Craft Designs channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.